Well, here's a reminder of another cold weather danger. A dog fell through the ice in the pond at Pine Nursery Park. Ben Fire and Rescue was called around 1 o'clock yesterday. Unfortunately, the dog was able to pull itself out of the icy water quickly. The rescue was called off. The dog is fine. This does, however, serve as a warning to stay off the ice. Very few places in Central Oregon get ice thick enough to walk on. So stay off those waterways. If you see a little bit of ice over a pond or over the river, it is not thick yet. Um, even with the very cold weather we're going to get this weekend, we're not going to get to the point where it's going to be safe to walk on. If you want to go ice skating, we have local ice rinks in Ben Sun River and Redmond. Well, here's some critters who refuse to get off the ice. Six eagles were spotted on this semi-frozen pond. One appears to be a bald eagle. Thank you to Emily Farrer for sharing these pictures with us. Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, uh, the, the ponds and lakes, as Dander Lackey mentioned, are just not thick enough yet. When are they thick enough? How does that work then? Well, we have to have a lot of cold air for a very long period of time. If you notice in the afternoons, we do get above freezing. So uh, let's take a look at the water and ice scenario. Frozen lakes and ponds, uh, they've not been below freezing long. Lakes and ponds have the thin ice. Moving water will not freeze quickly, so forget about the streams. And water in ponds still circulates from the bottom to the top, so it really does have a tough time freezing. Never go out on the ice alone.